So I've got a new capability. On my personal guide, I had to cross feed. This was my personal guide. You see that I had a cross feed bevel guide or slide and then an in and out slide and I kind of stuck them together. It wasn't a great, um, it's not a great, uh, geometry is not great, but it's what I had at the time. <clears throat> it's pretty expensive to put two of those things together. So recently I've just, I found this little cross slide and it is perfect for what I want to do. I've been wanting to get this um, available to the public, to the knife making public, but it was too expensive the other way. Um, I mean it would up, you know, close to a thousand dollars by the time you put two of those together. But it uses the same top surface and you've got cross slide this direction, cross slide this direction. It's more compact, the geometry is a lot better you can put the load right in over the top of your post instead of having the load out here causing uh, some flex. In addition to this, I've upgraded this plate and recently upgraded the angle. I was using a quarter inch for both of those. Gone to three eighths on that to get a little more rigidity. These are very tight. Operation is smooth. So it's got um, five direction of movement. It'll move in and out this direction. It'll move across. Let's see, it'll vertical move. It'll tilt right here, and it will pivot like this. This is the pivot around the vertical axis. So I've ordered a bunch of these slides now, and... Um, that's going to be the offering for the double the double action or the cross action and I use that cross action to do uh, to match plunges and I have some other tasks in mind for that that I haven't uh, got around to developing yet 